iOS 18 is now here and we have it installed on Apple CarPlay. So let's go through everything new from A all the way to Z, starting off with the compatible devices. If you have an iPhone XS or even the SE second generation iPhone or newer, you have the ability to also install iOS 18 as those devices are all compatible as you see right there. In terms of Apple intelligence, it's only the iPhone 16s as well as the iPhone 15 Pros that will get received the new Apple intelligence. But even if you don't have an iPhone that supports Apple Intelligence, you will still benefit with the new Siri features. For instance, yes, even though we have the new ring animation right here, but you could still request things like, how's the weather? It'll show you this cool card icon. Let me lower the audio. Of the weather conditions. You can also request to see your favorite football or baseball or any sport score. So if I say something like, Show me the Giants' latest game score. Select the sport. And you have this new score card right there as well, which is quite awesome. And Siri is also smarter than ever because now if you actually re change like sentences or something like that, like if you say something like, never mind, how about this? Or never mind, I meant to say that. Instead of starting all over with Siri, you could just say, never mind, I meant to say this. And Siri will be smart enough to finally understand that. So the UI... Everything here remained the same, to be honest. The only noticeable thing is not just the new wallpaper, which I'll go more about in a little bit, but this home button will now transition to this new icon, where previously this was a different icon, but now it will actually give us the old school classic physical home button from an iPhone back in the day. So they brought back the home button right there. And then now, whenever you're recording a video and you're listening to your media as an example, the phone that you have pair on your CarPlay, if you switch to video, give it a couple of seconds, you can actually start recording without having to pause your media. See, it still resumes and plays. If for some reason it's not working for you, it's super easy to set this up. On your iPhone, go into settings. On your main setting menu, scroll down to camera. In here, select record sound. And on the bottom here is where you'll, you'll be able to enable allow audio playback when recording. And that is how you can enable that so it doesn't automatically pause your media. Now, since we are in the media Apple Music section, notice how the album artwork is slightly larger now than previously. But of course, you can always go back in the settings and turn that off entirely. Now, new notification animations have been redesigned. Whenever you receive a notification from Find My or a text message, this is how the new notification now looks like. Now we'll actually feature the profile picture to that contact and a little small icon on the app that you receive that notification from. And then if you have a timer, this is how the new notification looks like. You can tap on right here to either repeat the timer or end it entirely without having to use your phone. Just unfortunately when receiving an incoming call, just unfortunately when receiving an incoming call and you hit accept, you are unable to actually start voice recording like you are with an iPhone that has Apple intelligence. So in other words, if you like to record this call, you still need to physically grab your phone and tap the record icon right here to start a three second timer. This call will be recorded. Lay basically letting the caller know that the line is being recorded. And then of course you can find the recording in your notes app. I wish Apple integrated that in CarPlay. And then another new change can be located on your main device actually. And it will be located in your control center because when you hit customize and you add and you go type in motion, there's now this new vehicle motion section you can add. When you activate it, you can activate vehicle motion cues, which will summon these little dots on your screen right here, which will react to the acceleration of the vehicle and the braking to help release any motion sickness you may be experiencing. You can always select automatic in vehicle or manually turn it on of course i'm sure this will be extremely useful especially on like boats and stuff as well now in terms of maps uh maps unfortunately didn't receive an update so i can't do the two pincher uh two fingers to pinch and zoom unfortunately you still have to do this and like a double tap on the screen to zoom in and zoom out but in terms of improvements in CarPlay uh, maps, Apple Maps, uh, not much. Only thing I noticed is like some of the icons are darker than previously. So small graphic improvements here, but it's only on certain areas like in the Bay Area from my experience. So if you live like in a big city, near a big city, you'll see the new graphics. If not, 
uh, you may not even notice anything new. So unfortunately, no major uh, update or improvement in Apple Maps, unfortunately. But places where you will find a new improvement can be located in the settings because we did receive, receive quite a few. Drive focus remained the same. Announce messages were also remained the same. Uh, but in appearance, also remained the same. There's no like enable dark mode for your app icons unfortunately that would have been cool maybe ios 19 but if somebody from apple is watching this allow us to have the same icons we have on our main iphone that'd be really cool but in wallpapers we did receive three no i'm sorry four new wallpapers and this is how they look like they're supported in both dark mode and light mode they look really great especially if you have a vehicle with a dark interior like we have right here but unfortunately, they did took out one wallpaper, and that is this one. This one used to be available in another color, and now it's just available on this. So they took away one wallpaper and gave us four. Uh, I kind of wish they allowed us to uh, keep the rest. Underneath the wallpaper, we do have a new silent mode, which allows the iPhone to mirror your iPhone silent mode or have silent mode turned off, turn on entirely or turn off, depending on your preference. So... By having this one turn on, this will turn off the notifications you receive on your watch, your iPhone, and will only show it on your CarPlay. So it's kind of good to enable this if you want to limit your limitations on like your notifications from being all your devices to just one, especially if you travel with an iPad, I may imagine. But mirror iPhone silent mode is good enough in my opinion. And of course, you can always pause the video if you like to read the description down here or turn on entirely. It's my two personal favorite ones. And then in the accessibility tab, this is new for CarPlay because now you have the ability to enable color filters. So if you have a hard time seeing or if you have polarized sunglasses, you could go in here and change it to your own personal preference, allowing you to see certain colors easier. This is super cool and great due to the fact that usually car manufacturers don't have something like this built into their UI. It's cool that Apple CarPlay has that ability for those that need it. You can also increase the intensity as well from low, medium, and high. Well, if we go get out of here, in here underneath that, you'll see a bold text icon. So I did have the bold text enabled. It makes reading things off your screen better, but in my opinion, I think it makes the whole UI look better as well, especially if you have a vehicle of this size with this large display. I thought that was kind of cool. Bold text, in my opinion, is my personal favorite feature to enable but let me turn off color filter real quick voice control is also new you can verbally just control your head unit by just talking to it so if i say something like open music i'm sorry i need a pause first so it doesn't get mixed up with your conversation so if i pause for a little bit open youtube music it does it just like so and it works just fine on third-party apps as well and then anything you see on your screen so long as you can verbally read it you can either say tap or open followed by the sentence so if i say something like as an example tap my super mix it just clicks on it just like that and then of course you can always pause play skip track or go back to the previous page on this app so let's go ahead and open up settings so open settings and it works just like that pretty flawless to be honest and then new icon will pop up here letting you know that uh the voice control mic is enabled on both the carplay and your mobile device too on top of there so it tells you for security purposes that your device is listening to you and then right here in hearing there's now new sound recognition by enabling this you can allow carplay to identify car horns or sirens so if an emergency vehicle is driving by and you're not sure if it's your music or outside a little notification will pop up confirming and letting you know that sirens are nearby or a vehicle has honked great to use if you have a hard time of hearing certain things and you're driving or you just like to see and confirm what you're hearing is correct so that is kind of a little cool tool right there apple gave us just i prefer having to turn off personally because i've noticed whenever my phone is not connected to carplay if i'm watching the movie it will still send the notifications to my phone so personally prefer leaving it off sorry if the ac fan is a little bit too high but out of here getting out of that and the that you'll see a new Apple Intelligence and Siri tab, which there's no noticeable change here in the city. Basically, this was the Siri section. So if you have an iPhone that does not support Apple Intelligence, it's still the same thing. Siri, suggestions and dashboards, automatic send, or show apps behind Siri. Nothing here has changed, just that new icon. 
and then aside from that that's basically everything new for ios 18 if you have a porsche however you can see your vehicle data now on the screen if you have the porsche app installed so you can actually control things like climate and stuff like that from your carplay unit instead of having to go into your vehicle's actual settings so hopefully in the near future we'll see more manufacturers integrate an app like that but that's basically it we still can't see like rpms or horsepower reading from these apps unfortunately only Porsche has that ability, but I'll keep you guys updated if it comes available for other manufacturers like BMW or Mercedes, which are the two cars I have access to right now currently. But now, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about iOS 18? Any missing features you'd like to see? For me personally, I can, again, I wish Apple integrated those new dark app icons for CarPlay. Who knows, maybe that, they could still add that, but as of right now, we still don't have that, unfortunately. So comment down below if you have any more requests you'd like to see Apple add for CarPlay. Aside from that, if you'd like to watch more, check out this video over here. It's the complete guide of everything new on iOS 18. My name was Eddie, and thank you so much for watching.